Hi beauty. I just want to share what's in my favorite big bowl um, in the kitchen right now with you. This is a, a big bowl. I throw a lot of different fruits and some veggies in there. And one thing that is always around are these amazing apples. And right now I got Braeburn. Sometimes I get Fuji, sometimes I get Honeycrisp. I think that varying the type of apples that you get is a really great way to vary the taste of your glowing green smoothie. And also just if you eat apples on their own as I do, I like to cut them up, have them as a snack. Sometimes in the morning after my glowing green smoothie, it's a nice way to introduce variety. I also have all these amazing Meyer lemons. <laughs> I'm very grateful that here in LA, uh, we're able to have a Meyer lemon tree in the backyard and they are producing, smells like heaven. Meyer lemons are a cross between lemons and mandarin oranges. Um, be sure you always have a lot of lemons around. They're a beauty detox staple. They're great to have your hot water with lemon with, of course. Um, they're great to use in all, pretty much most, all salad dressings. And um, also just to put in your water throughout the day. Let's see, I also have over here pineapple. And a little tip I wanna give you guys is that when you're at the store shopping for pineapple, if the top comes out really easily like this, you can pull them out right in the store. It means that your pineapple is ripe and it's a good one to pick. And so lately I've been using pineapple as a variety in the glowing green smoothie. I've also just been eating it plain. It looks a little yucky, but I wanted to show you guys. This is the last banana I have. I started to eat it, so it's open. But um, I always have bananas in my in my fruit bowl, so I just wanted to show you. Um, but I started to eat this one. It's the last one. Someone needs to go shopping soon. Um, I also have a couple of avocados. If you get them at the store, I like to get a few that are really ripe and ready to eat and I eat one that day and then I put one in the fridge and the ones that are a little bit softer, especially if you don't get to go to the store very often, let them ripen out on the counter or in your fruit bowl. They're not going to ripen well in the fridge. So it's good to get some ripe and some less ripe and that way you have enough perfect avocados all week. I also have sweet potatoes, one of my favorite foods ever. I've been, I just love to bake them, to make sweet potato fries, just to have them plain. Um, I always have a couple different root vegetables. The other one I have right now is this uh, butternut squash, uh, perfect for making our, our, our delish squash bisque, which is a classic recipe from the Beauty Detox Solution. And it's winter, it's not that cold in LA, I'm not gonna lie, but it's still great soup weather and I'll definitely be making some of the bisque this week. So I just wanted to share a little bit about my fruit bowl. It does um, vary, oh, I found a hidden treasure down here, pomegranate, uh, which is getting increasingly harder to find. They're going out of season, but still have a little bit of them left. So just to show you a little bit of variety, it does change quite a lot. Um, but I'd love to know what's in your fruit bowl too. So share with me as well, and I'll see you back here very soon, beauty.